because I want to make sure I video this. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use Insert Learning. This is an extension up here called Insert Learning. I click that. Hopefully, it loads nice and fast for me and loaded. All right, so with this, I just have a plain website here, right? And it's very boring for my students to go through and read a website. So what I might do is come over here and click the highlight text. I'm going to actually go through and highlight a section of the text for them. Okay, and I might even put in a comment for them about this text, about how great is this. All right, click OK, and then as they go through, they'll see that. I might also want to put in a sticky note. So after this little bit of text, I'm going to say, yeah, I might put in some text here, but I'm actually going to click video because I like to screencast stuff and make videos. So off pops a video. I'm going to record myself here. Just talking about whatever's going on in the text that's in front of me, how great an introduction this is to an extended response. And then I'm going to click stop. I'm going to use that video and please upload really quickly and don't take too long. Good. Okay, there we go. Uh, that'll appear there for my students to have a look at. I might also want to ask them a question about the text. So let's click that in there. And my students will get this lovely, you know, how good is this demo slam? Right? I'm going to click create. If I want that to be multiple choice, I'll then write some other stuff in here about, you know, 10 out of 10, right? And because I want that to be the only response possible, I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> I can also, if I want kids to discuss with each other as they go through, so I want my kids to discuss this. So I'm going to start a thread here for them to discuss something. So please talk about how good this demo slam is, right? And I create that, and then my students can post responses as they go through, okay? One of the next best things about this is when I choose to assign it to my students, down the bottom here, it just says share to my Google Classroom. I can click that, select any of my Google Classrooms, share it up there, et cetera, et cetera, uh, so that my students get straight into that and enjoy it. Uh, and here's one that I prepared a little bit earlier. So as you go through, this is what I'm going to see. So this is a highlight for my students. Down here, I'm going to click View Responses, and you can see one person, that's me, of course, has answered, this is the best site in the world. I own that site. Um, keep scrolling down, and you can see the discussion is starting to come up here as well. Okay, now I'm a bit worried about my time. I can click down here, show my clock for me. Come on, show my clock. I wonder how long I've got. Four it's seconds. over there. I've got four seconds. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.